Yo, what's going on? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add music from iTunes to your XSplit live streams. So stay tuned. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. If you want to stream gameplay quickly and easily, I highly suggest getting XSplit. Now, I used to use OBS, and OBS, to be honest, it's a little bit of a pain to deal with, to set up, to get the settings that you want. But XSplit is incredibly easy to resize images, to change settings to basically get things how you want them to be. So go to growonyoutube.com forward slash XSplit ASAP to go and download XSplit. You can also use my discount code JCarterAy to get 10% off. So do yourself a favor, go get XSplit today, jump start your streaming career go to grow on youtube.com forward slash xsplit use code jcarteray for 10 percent off yo what's going on i'm jcarteray from grow on youtube.com teaching you how to be better and i've been looking for a solution to this problem for a while not actively but i just wanted to kind of know how to do it and there didn't seem to be any straightforward guides that will just show me how to do it i found out how to do it today it was a bit long but i thought i'd create this video to make it really really easy for anyone else having the same problem now if you do want to connect maybe spotify or a different type of application to your xsplit stream then this may work as well but if this method does not work then leave a comment down below and i'll make a video on how to connect those specific applications as well depending on how many people want that so let's get into it really really quickly also i think this method will work with recordings so not just streams but streaming is where most people care about this sort of stuff and using itunes is important when you're trying to use non-copywritten material if you're using spotify most of the songs on there are copywritten so if you stream on youtube you're gonna get demonetized and all that sort of stuff so just just a little bit of tips there if you're new to streaming but let's get into it so here is my profile that's normally set up and the things that we have active are the webcam and the capture card for the actual gameplay. So those things come through. Now we're gonna quickly go through the audio settings of XSplit and then I'm gonna go into iTunes and then I'm going to go to my system audio settings to kind of show you what's going on here. So first of all, in the audio settings of XSplit, let's bring that up. Let's go to audio. As you can see, we have no audio preview on. That's not, that really doesn't matter. I would suggest using your audio preview at some point to make sure everything sounds right. But our system sound is going through these speakers. Speakers, VB Audio, Voice Meter, AUX, VAIO. You may not have the exact same speakers here, but the only reason I'm showing you this is because these speakers that you have here need to be set to your speakers in your normal settings, meaning your settings for your PC. And when you do that, it will make your iTunes music come through these speakers. So that's really, really important. And then we've got our microphone, which is this mic that I'm using right here. And that's a completely different audio input, which is important as well. So our audio isn't coming from the same place as where our speakers are going out. Now I could have done that. I could have put my audio through the audio box, which is what I've tried before. But when you do that, you'll get an echo through your speakers. So if you've got a mixer or an amp or anything like that, you want to make sure the system sound and the microphone is different because if you've got them both coming through the same thing, you won't be able to change your microphone levels and change your system sound levels and all that sort of stuff. And that's not great. So the way this works is you'll control your music volume in iTunes. You won't actually control it in XSplit because XSplit will 
control basically all your system sound at one time and that's generally where your gameplay is going to be coming through if you've got your setup like i do which is connected to my ps4 through my ava media capture card my ava media capture card and ps4 sound is coming to my system sound here so everything is basically coming through my system sound the gameplay and the music so we have this set up to one set of speakers let's just call this speakers one and that's what you need to do in your setup so connect your system sound to your desktop speakers or whatever your normal default output is and then we can go to itunes let's open that up and let's go to edit and then preferences this is where you want to go and then when you go to preferences you want to go to playback and here you want to change play audio using to windows audio session when you do this your itunes will play through whatever audio output you have selected in your system settings when you restart so if you haven't done this yet if your itunes is set to direct sound by default then you need to open up itunes you need to change it to windows audio session then you need to click ok then you need to go to your system sound and in order to do that on a pc you go to settings and then you go down to sound and here you'll choose your output device and you want your output device to be the same system sound device that you've got in xsplit as i told you before so you set this to speakers one and then after you do that then you want to restart itunes and when you restart itunes at this point it will play through your selected output device and that's what you really want you want this to be going through your selected output device that you've selected over here so that you can use that selected output device in here I hope this is making sense and I'm not making this way too complicated. I'm going to just give you a simplified step by step right now. I just wanted to kind of, you know, explain everything that's going on right here so you understand it a bit more in depth. But straight up, if you if you're a little bit confused, what you need to do is go to audio settings, go to your system sound and pick speakers one. Make sure your mic is coming through a different input. If you've got a mic connected, pick that. And then you need to make sure that your iTunes is playing through your Windows output. So we'll go to edit, go to preferences, go to playback, put that through Windows audio session. Then you need to make sure that your system settings are going out to speaker one, like your audio output, your output device is going to speakers one as well. Then you need to restart iTunes. So those are the, the straightforward steps that you need to do. I've showed you how to do all of it. And once you do that, then you will actually have your music coming through to your stream. And you'll also have your mic on top of it so you can commentate and all that sort of stuff and everything is perfect basically now in order to set your music lower or higher you need to actually control that from itunes so you can set this like really super low and you can also still set your microphone volume in xsplit so this is your microphone volume you can set it down you can set it up you can do whatever you want over there and that's how you get music from itunes into your xsplit stream I hope this video has helped you out. As I said before, if you've got any other tutorials or any questions, let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to make this for Spotify or any other app because I, I, I am interested in making this for Spotify as well. I don't know if it will be done in a different way, so I have to check that out. But let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and liking and subscribing. I'll see you in the next XSplit streaming tutorial. Peace out. 
If you want to learn how I got over 23,000 subscribers and millions of views on my YouTube gaming channel, then you are in luck. Sign up to this free course right now. Link will be in the card, in the description and in the pinned comment or go to grownyoutube.com forward slash 20k SEO course. In this course, you will learn the best way to write your video titles, tags, and descriptions to help you rank on the first page of YouTube. It's simple when you know what to do. I'll also show you a hack that will help you choose the right key phrases and help you create videos that can rank and get views no matter what game you play. Stop struggling to grow your YouTube gaming channel and start doing what works. Click on the link in the description or go to grownyoutube.com forward slash 20k SEO course. This course will not be up forever, so get in there as soon as possible. I hope to see you here soon and I wish you the best of luck on your journey of turning your passion into your career. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. So all this I share.